Hey everybody and welcome back. Just want to thank you all for uh, your support and uh, subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to click like on my videos. We appreciate it and thanks so much. Today we're comparing two vintage equalizers. One is a little bit older than the other. The uh, Parasound EQ F210 S. S stands for silver because they made it in black and silver. It's got nice little rock handles on there. And we have the DBX 2015. The 2015 is a little bit of a newer model compared to the Parasound. The DBX is a residential model. DBX doesn't make residential models anymore. So I would say the DBX is probably from the early 80s and the Parasound may be a little bit older. Not by much though. The uh, DBX is a 15 frequency band equalizer. The lowest frequency being 31.5 and the highest is 32 kilohertz. It's got attenuators for the left and right channel and the faders don't light up but that's fine with me and you have a uh, a range selector 6 dB or 12 dB your source uh, tape uh, for putting in your tape deck and for recording you have a pre and a post uh, for when you make your recordings pre equalization and post equalization and bypass very well made in Japan then we have the Parasound this is 10 frequency sliders on here the lowest frequency being 30 and the highest being 16 kilohertz it's got a attenuator also and one set of sliders for each channel it also has bypass so you could uh, include the equalizer or not in your loop it has a tape monitor there's your EQ and tape selector and on and off switch and I like the little uh, rack handles that it comes with uh, the chassis on these are nicely made textured metal both made in Japan and they're both nice equalizers the DBX being the better I believe with having more frequency bands uh, to tailor your recording or your output the DBX uh, comparing the two the DBX is better power sounds okay DBX better All right, folks thanks for viewing don't forget to subscribe and click like on my video and we'll see you again real soon on another vintage stereo review or a gadget review thanks again see you soon